Yep, we're going hiking. We're heading north. Way up north. We're on our way. I'm going to go eat some pizza now. My mom's picking me up. And then she's going to drive me to the train. And then tomorrow by lunch, I will be at the King of Kings Trail. So it's finally happening. And my bag is packed. I have food for like seven or eight days. And then I have another resupply package that I already sent yesterday. So we're heading on another adventure. And I know you said you wanted to see more of the trails in Sweden. So here you go. But I will see you on the train somewhere. Mm -hmm. So first train is ready. I'm waiting for the night train up to Boden. Then I'm going to change to a bus and then another bus. But I'm going to get to sleep on this train. So that's nice. It is so hot today. It's 30 degrees Celsius and it's been really bad weather for a very long time. So perfect train weather. Yeah, it's hot. Mama crib. It's a sauna. It is hot in here. Ooh. So I made it on the train. It is just me, not on the train, but in my little sleeping room. There's a room, there are, there are three beds here, but it's just gonna be me until I have to change my train, which will be at 5.50 in the morning. So, yay. But I'm really happy it's just me, because it it's not very big. It's pretty small and it's so hot, it's like a sauna because it's 30 degrees outside. So I guess I'm just gonna sleep, watch some Netflix maybe, and try and figure out where I'm gonna go, because I know I said I wanna, I was supposed to hike the King's Trail, but I kind of changed my mind a bit because there are so many people out on the trail right now because of Corona. I guess they figure that since they can't go abroad, they decided to go up in the north instead. So I'm actually going to try and avoid the King's Trail. I'm going to start on the King's Trail and then somewhere I will head somewhere else. I haven't figured out the details yet, but I'm sure I will. Also, hopefully I'm going to see my Swedish peace tea friend that I met here and there. because he, he is finishing and I will probably see him Probably not tomorrow, but the day after. So I think I'm gonna eat my leftover pizza and um, just relax for many hours. There are still many hours left. So just to give you an idea how big Sweden is, um, this is where we started out, Fallon. Took the train to Jable, changed my train, and I'm going up here, which changing to another train, heading to Jable, changing another train, going, where am I going? Up here, this is where I'm going. So it's, it's at the very top of Sweden. Yep.
is it. And this is the start of the King's Trail. We are out on the King's Trail, hiking. I'm out hiking. It, it's, uh, it's not really warm, but it's not really cold either. So I'm already getting my heat up, so this jacket is coming off. But uh, yeah, it feels really good. And it might rain today, um, so I'm gonna try and get as far as possible and then put up my tent before it starts to rain. Because we all know I'm not very good at putting up my tent in the rain. And this is also a, a new tent, so I've only used it two times, so still new to me. But we're out here. I've already, oh, on the way up, I saw a whole bunch of reindeers already. So, yeah, high hopes for this one. We have a little meditation site here. If you want to do some meditation. It says, the longest journey is the journey within. And that's true. We're going this way. I've already had some some rain, some sprinkles, but it's gone now, so fingers crossed. We got this. And look, I found candy. I don't know what you call these, but they are delicious. There are a lot of them. Yum. Hmm. So it's almost three o'clock, almost, and I think I have maybe a mile left, mile or a half left to the cabin because along the King's Trail you have uh, cabins that people can sleep in you have to pay for it but you can they're like every 10 to 16th kilometer I'm not gonna sleep in that cabin because you have to book it now because of the corona and I don't have the money so I'm gonna camp somewhere but it's I feel like it's too early to set up camp now so I might just go there and have some lunch because I haven't had anything yet and then do like one or two miles more. I might do that. But I gotta say I'm impressed because everywhere you go you have these wooden planks because it's wet everywhere so so far my feet are actually dry I don't think that's gonna be the case further on especially not if I'm gonna leave the King's Trail but I've done that before look at that I got a rainbow on my first day that's gonna be a good sign it's dinner time it's um this is food that I did myself like well, I cooked it and I dried it myself and um, it doesn't really go back to normal consistency consist the normal the normal shape and softness that it had before but um, yeah um, it is six o'clock and I set up camp because it started to rain it's been raining on and off all day um, and I wanted to get my tent up before it was too late and also I was just too tired and I was hungry 
because I didn't stop at the other cabin because it was closed. Um, but I did manage to walk 16 kilometers today, so I think that's a good first day number. But I'm gonna eat this now and then, um, don't know, listen to a podcast maybe and massage my feet and then I'm gonna go to bed. So I will see you tomorrow. Good night. This is where I slept last night. So good morning. Just about to pack up. And it was a wet night. It was a very wet inside my tent night. But we're good. And today is another day of might rain. Probably not, but you can never be too sure. So we are almost done with the first climb of this trek. I came from down below there. I came from over there yesterday. And we're almost done with the climb. As you can see, the snow is still still here. Hello. We are almost done with this climb. And the rain is uh, ready. I'm not. Well, I am, but I don't want it, so please stay away. And then I think we're going this way. It's almost like the CRS or Washington, so I'm having some PCT flashbacks. It is becoming very beautiful up here. I am very excited about this view. It's the mountains! And I'm very excited about this view. I mean, how beautiful. And the weather tomorrow is supposed to be pretty good actually, which I'm very thankful for because I think tomorrow I'm going to go walk through a valley that is not on the King's Trail. It's called like the Vista Valley, so you know, it's supposed to be really, really beautiful. And this is already really beautiful, so hold on to your hats, folks. Also, you can see a couple of cabins down there. There they are. That's for the, the reindeer people, because you have a lot of reindeers up here, and you have people taking care of the reindeers. So that's where they're sleeping. You know what that is? That's Peter. He's the guy I met in the Sierras the first time, because we've been talking on Instagram before with his tea. And then I just bumped into him in the Sierras. And then later on I saw him in Washington. And when I was done with the PST, heading back to Hearts Pass, I met him again. Now I'm out here on the King's Trail and I met him again. <laughs> so that's very cool. Apparently there's a lot of PST people out here hiking because they can't go anywhere else. So more PC team memories. Very nice. And he's been out walking for like a month or something. And for three weeks he had constant rain. So I feel sorry for him, but he is almost ready now. It was so fun to meet him. And I have 14 kilometers to my the next place and then I have to figure out where to go but now I have to keep on walking because he got pretty cold standing still but... 
pretty. If you can see it but the water is turquoise it's so beautiful it is so beautiful so this lake you can actually do a boat ride on and skip six kilometers but cost you 400 crowns like 40 dollars and i said nope Look at this beautiful waterfall. <laughs> also, I think I found the mosquitoes. I know people have been complaining about mosquitoes here. And I have always said that, you know, it cannot be worse than the end of the Sierra's Yosemite. It just cannot. Well, it can. Well, not worse, but like the same thing. I literally ran into a cloud of mosquitoes and it felt like someone just put like a thin fabric over my face. It was dense. So yes, there are a lot of mosquitoes, but so far only here. So we're almost there. So we're like, I have like two kilometers left and then I have to decide where to go next but here on the other side you have right let me show you another little village where the the reindeer people live the keepers I want to call them we call them sawmed and they're basically I guess you can call them Sweden's like Indians original people or something and they're also the ones um, in charge of the boat so they can get some extra cash during the summer it's time to leave the king's trail and head on to Vista somewhere along here and I don't have a map I have a GPS but I can't zoom in enough to see what I want to see but apparently there are markings so hopefully that will help me find the trail so I was just up here resting drinking some lemonade and uh, if you want you can sleep up there but I am poor, so I have to stay in my tent. So a couple more miles and then enough for today. So before I walked alongside that shore line, alongside that lake, up to those cabins, and then the King's Trail goes in the opposite direction of where I am now, and I am going this way, up on Indium Known. So this is our new valley for today. And uh, you can't see it, but there's a pretty nice waterfall behind that place, that hill. And I'm not sure how much further I'm gonna walk because my feet are achy. And I know I've walked at least 22, 23 kilometers so far. So I might, if I see a good 10 spot, I'm gonna take it. But it is pretty.
Now that is what I call a cute. I was thinking first if I should camp up here. But maybe I should just try because it's nice to have water, right? So I might just try and get down too. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Ah. I'll keep on going. Why not? That's my valley. So I found a camp spot and I thought I was I thought I was quick, but I wasn't. Well there are mosquitoes everywhere. Oh. Well Damn you. Okay, I agree there are a lot of mosquitoes here in the mountains of Sweden. Oh. Poor Randy, you would have died if you were here. I found a camp spot. I'm not going to show you my camp spot tonight. You will see it tomorrow because I am not leaving my tent. Because I finally got rid of all the mosquitoes. So I'm staying in here. But I'm waiting for my dinner. This month I made myself so the tomato sauce pasta dishes are great to dry yourself. They work. So I'm gonna eat some pasta and then go to bed because I am tired. And I walked pretty far today. I don't know exactly how far I walked but it is at least 23 kilometers. And it's only my second day. And the view has been amazing. The weather has been nice. No rain. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. I've had, like, two little climbs. But, compared to the PST, it's just a bump in the road. Um, the trail is pretty... I realized, I realized that the PST is... A very luxurious trail because it is so well maintained here you have big rocks everywhere so you can never really relax you have always have to check where you're putting your foot down but it is beautiful and I got to meet Peter Peter that was so fun and yeah tomorrow I'm gonna try and find the cabins and then hopefully they will let me know where to go for my next cabin because I don't like I, said, I don't have a map of this. I have a GPS, but it's not showing me everything, and it is supposed to be markers along the trail, but they might not be that good. So we'll see. So thank you for joining me today. Now we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.